Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Speed is essential to an aircraft, especially if it is performing combat or other critical missions. If you think fighters are the fastest planes, you are wrong. Yes, of course, they occupy most of the positions in our rating, but not the top. Today, we will show you the 10 fastest aircraft in the world piloted by human. Su-27 the Su-27 is the Russian frontline fighter aircraft designed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau and manufactured by Irkut Corporation. The aircraft is equipped to operate autonomously in combat over hostile territory, in escort of deep penetration strike aircraft and in the suppression of enemy airfields. The aircraft provides general air defense in cooperation with ground and airborne control stations. The aircraft is equipped with a 30mm GSH-301 gun with 150 rounds of ammunition and a range of missiles, rockets, and bombs mounted externally on 10 hardpoints. The Su-27SK is powered by two AL-31F turbofan engines. Designed by the Yulka Engine Design Bureau and BO Saturn, the upgraded engine provides a thrust of 145 kN pounds). The maximum speed of the Su-27 fighter at an altitude of 11 kilometers is 1,553 miles per hour, 2,500 kilometers an hour. F-15 Eagle In 1967, the Soviet Union revealed a new MiG-25 high-speed and high-altitude interceptor, which had tremendous performance. Its appearance led to serious concerns throughout the Department of Defense that the U.S. was being outclassed. A new fighter was required that could meet expected performance of the MiG-25. Thus, the fourth-generation F-15 Eagle fighter was built, manufactured by McDonnell Douglas. It was the first USAF's dedicated air superiority fighter since the F-86 Sabre. Although now in service for over 40 years, it remains a formidable warplane, as attested by its claim to 36 of the 39 USAF aerial victories in Desert Storm, without a single combat loss. Initially, these fighters were fitted with two Pratt & Whitney F-100 series engines. On newer versions, these were replaced by General Electric F-110 turbofans. The F-15 was a very advanced fighter for its time. Its top speed is 1,600 miles per hour, 2,575 kilometers an hour. F-111 Aardvark The F-111 fighter, also called Aardvark, is a medium-range, multi-purpose tactical strike aircraft that was developed by General Dynamics. The F-111 aircraft conducted its first flight in December 1964 and entered into service with the USAF in 1967. Production of the F-111 was ceased in 1976 after building 566 aircraft in different versions. The F-111 fighter is armed with air-to-surface ordnance for the long-range attack. The internal bay could carry Mark 117-type bombs and up to Mark 118 was cleared. Two F-111 variants, F-111A and F-111B, were initially developed for the USAF and US Navy respectively. They were built with same airframe structural components and were powered by TF-30 P-1 turbofan engines. The maximum speed of the F-111 tactical bomber was 1,649 miles per hour, 2,655 kilometers an hour. MiG-31 A long-range supersonic interceptor aircraft the MiG-31, a two-seat aircraft developed principally for the Russian and Kazakhstan Air Forces, was derived from MiG-25. The maiden flight of the MiG-31 took place in September 1975. MiG-31 can work efficiently in all weather conditions while fulfilling visual flight rules and instrument flight rules, day and night. It is equipped with state-of-the-art digital avionics. 
MiG-31 was the first Soviet fighter aircraft to have true look-down and shoot-down capability. Four long-range Vimpel R-33E air-to-air missiles are installed in the MiG-31 aircraft. The aircraft is also equipped with four short-range R-60MK missiles and two Biznavat R-40 TD-1 medium-range missiles. The MiG-31 can climb at a rate of 208 meters a second and has the capacity to fly at 1,864 miles per hour, 3,000 kilometers an hour. XB-70 Valkyrie The North American Aviation XB-70 Valkyrie was the prototype version of the planned B-70 nuclear-armed deep penetration strategic bomber for the United States Air Force Strategic Air Command. Designed in the late 1950s by North American Aviation, the six-engine Valkyrie was a maximum speed of 2,056 miles per hour, 3,309 kilometers an hour, while flying at 70,000 feet, 21,000 meters. High speed also made the aircraft difficult to see on radar displays, and its high altitude and high speed capacity could not be matched by any contemporaneous Soviet interceptor or fighter aircraft. The introduction of the first Soviet surface-to-air missiles in the late 1950s put the near invulnerability of the B-70 in doubt. In response, the United States Air Force began flying its missions at low level, where the missile radar's line of sight was limited by terrain. Bell X-2 The Bell X-2 was a rocket-powered, swept-wing research aircraft designed to investigate the structural effects of aerodynamic heating, as well as stability and control effectiveness at high speeds and altitudes. The program was developed jointly in 1945 by Bell Aircraft Corporation, the U.S. Air Force, and the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. The vehicles were designed to employ a two-chamber Curtis Wright XLR-25 throttle-able liquid-fueled rocket engine. It had a variable thrust rating from 2,500 to 15,000 pounds. A Boeing B-50A bomber was modified to carry the X-2 to launch altitudes around 30,000 feet. The pilot then climbed into the X-2, dropped away from the bomber, and ignited the engines if it was a planned powered flight. The maximum speed that the X-2 aircraft could achieve was 2,094 miles per hour, 3,370 kilometers an hour. MiG-25 the MiG-25 is a supersonic interceptor and reconnaissance aircraft for countering air targets in all weather conditions, by day and by night. And in dense hostile electronic warfare environments, the MiG-25 constitutes a part of the Russian S-155P missile interceptor system. The MiG-25 is one of the fastest combat aircraft ever produced, capable of achieving speeds of 2,171 miles per hour. 3,494 kilometers an hour. The MiG-25 aircraft is armed with four R-40 air-to-air missiles equipped with infrared and radar homing heads. The range of these missiles is two to 60 kilometers. The missiles are suspended from four underwing pylons. The MiG-25 aircraft is powered by two R-15 B-300 single-shaft turbo jets arranged in the tail section of the fuselage. The engines develop 11,200 kilograms of thrust with fully selected afterburner. Lockheed YF-12 The Lockheed YF-12 is an American prototype interceptor aircraft developed and manufactured by American aerospace company Lockheed Corporation. It was developed during the late 1950s and early 1960s as a potential replacement for the F-106 Delta Dart Interceptor for the United States Air Force. The YF-12 was a twin-seat version of the then-secret single-seat Lockheed A-12 reconnaissance aircraft operated by the Central Intelligence Agency. 
Unlike the A12, it was furnished with the Hughes AN ASG-18 fire control radar and could be armed with AIM-47 Falcon air-to-air -air missiles. During the 1960s, the YF-12 underwent flight evaluations by the USAF, but funding to put it into operational use was not forthcoming, partly due to the pressing demands of the Vietnam War and other military priorities. It set and held speed and altitude world records of 2,274 miles per hour, 3,661 kilometers an hour, and over 80,000 feet, 24,000 meters. Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird is a long-range, high-altitude strategic reconnaissance aircraft developed and manufactured by the American aerospace company Lockheed Corporation. The shape of the SR-71 was based on that of the A-12, which was one of the first aircraft to be designed with a reduced radar cross-section. During aerial reconnaissance missions, the SR-71 operated at high speeds and altitudes, 2,299 miles per hour, 3,700 kilometers an hour, and 85,000 feet, 25,900 meters, to allow it to outrace threats. If a surface-to-air missile launch was detected, the standard evasive action was simply to accelerate and outfly the missile. The SR-71 was powered by two Pratt & Whitney J-58 axial flow turbojet engines. The J-58 was a considerable innovation of the era, capable of producing a static thrust of 32,500 pounds, 145 kilonewtons. North American X-15 The North American X-15 was a hypersonic, rocket-powered aircraft operated by the United States Air Force and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration as part of the X-Plane series of experimental aircraft. The X-15 set speed and altitude records in the 1960s, reaching the edge of outer space and returning with valuable data used in aircraft and spacecraft design. The X-15's official world record for the highest speed ever recorded by a crewed, powered aircraft set in October 1967 when William J. Knight flew at Mach 6.7 at 102,100 feet, 31,120 meters, a speed of 4,520 miles per hour, 7,274 kilometers an hour. During the X-15 program, 12 pilots flew a combined 199 flights, of these, eight pilots flew a combined 13 flights, which met the Air Force space flight criterion by exceeding the altitude of 50 miles, 80 kilometers, thus qualifying these pilots as being astronauts. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the aircraft you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.